hi everyone so today i'm gonna show you how to make your own nasal saline irrigation at home it's easy and simple to do but before i start like i've mentioned in the previous video it's important to have a nasal hygiene routine because you want to prevent any debris or any other organisms from getting stuck inside of your nasal cavity or even go down into your respiratory tract and overproduce mucus we all know overproduction of mucus could lead to chronic disease especially respiratory chronic disease that could damage your body cells in general so what you're gonna need is a nasal rinse bottle a measuring cup you're gonna need two continent or even one continent it's it's enough a teaspoon measurement you're gonna need salt. Me, I prefer using um, Himalayan salt. Um, remember, eh? when you're buying salt, make sure you buy a non-iodine salt. So no preservative in your salt, okay? And you're gonna need distal water or ball water. More specifically, eight ounces of uh, ball water or distal water, all right? So let's, let's start it. So two teaspoon of Himalayan salt, so one. Two, three. I've already uh, measured um, the baking soda. So I have here one teaspoon of baking soda that I'm going to pour into um, the Himalayan salt. Mix them together. Okay. After you're gonna pour eight ounces of distal water in your measuring cup or um, bowl water. Okay. So, um, by the way, eight ounces of water is uh, two. Uh, it's the equivalent of two forty milliliters. So you're gonna pour eight ounces of distilled water. Now. From the mix, okay, from the baking soda and the salt mix, you're going to take one teaspoon of that mix and add it into your distilled or boiled water. So one teaspoon, add it in there, mix it. Mix it until the water is clear. Okay, it's clear. What you're going to do next, you're going to pour your saline water into your rinse bottle. eight ounces Oop. <laughs> oopsie that's not what I wanted to happen but anyways so I usually mix it again and after you're gonna irrigate each nostrils you may repeat as needed and don't remember to uh, gently blow your nose after because you want to get rid of you know any um, any particles or any organisms that could get stuck in the nasal cavity again i hope um, this information were informative and if you have any questions don't hesitate just you know send me an email at heal at hecacreations.com heal at hecacreations.com and on that says take care and stay healthy